Are you like me and you love the convenience of ordering out, but between the inflated prices and tips and the less than healthy menu options, it really makes you think twice before ordering, right? Well, Gobble's here to help busy people like us enjoy healthier home cooking without the hassle. Instead of meal prepping and shopping, you just customize your weekly menu, get your delivery, and spend as little as 15 minutes to serve a delicious homemade dinner any night of the week. And this week, I made chicken fettuccine that was simply delicious divine. And both Julie and I made it at the same time. I know we're so cute. And we could not stop raving about how delicious it was. It was so easy to whip up in less than 15 minutes and everything I needed was already in the box. For our wonderful listeners, we have a special deal to help you get started for less. See what a difference Gobble will make for your household. Right now, they're offering our listeners a fantastic limited time deal. Get $120 off across four boxes, plus free shipping and free cookies. The cookies are so good. Go to gobble.com slash datable podcast. That's G-O-B-B-L-E dot com forward slash D-A-T-E-A-B-L-E podcast today. This offer is not available on their home site, so don't miss out. More often than not, I have a really hard time picking out an outfit, but Armoire makes getting dressed super easy. With a clothing rental membership from Armoire, build the perfect wardrobe with brands that are high quality, unique, and recommended just for you. All you have to do is take a five-minute style quiz and select items from your dynamic, personalized closet. The styles show up at your door in as little as two days. Then when you're ready for new clothes, just swap them out for more new-to-you styles. I'm currently on this dress kick, but not just any dress, dresses with cutouts. And I was so excited to find quite a few on Armoire that I'm able to rotate between beach outings, brunches, and of course, walking my dog in style. Right now for our listeners, you can give Armoire a try and get up to 50% off your first month. That's up to $125 off. Just visit armoire.style slash datable. That is armoire.style spelled A-R-M-O-I-R-E dot style slash D-A-T-E-A-B-L-E and get up to 50% off your first month and never worry about what to wear again. Try armoire today. Hi, I'm Yui Shu. And I'm Julie Kraftchik. We're active daters turned dating insiders. Here to dive into everything modern dating and relationships. Welcome to Datable. Hello, dateable buddies. Brunch buds. Welcome to Brunch Talk. <laughs> we try to mix it up. You know, I still like dateables. It feels like we're part of something big together. But what Julie did not like was brunchables. She's like, <laughs> it sounds like lunchables use that again. to me. Like, hello, brunchables. <laughs> Julie's like, do not use that again. <laughs> okay. It's not that I hate it. I'm like lukewarm on it. I'll be honest. It's cute. It is like lunch. Yeah, I can see lunchables. But I yeah. think processed meat. That's what I hear when you say that. And I think our audience deserves Delicious. better than processed meat. Delicious. <laughs> you all are whole foods, <laughs> not processed anything. You're organic, okay? <laughs> Grass-fed yeah. organic over here. You're not spam. Uh, Although spam's spam kind of good. Spam is fucking yeah. delicious. <laughs> spam's so bad for you, but it's so good. I feel like, yeah, especially like Hawaiian spam, like high-end spam. Oh. Oh. So good. High end spam. I was totally at this Hawaiian <laughs> high end restaurant, you know, at Leo Leo, where you and I used to go all the time to freaking best spam ever. Oh, because they make it in house. Yeah. But I can't wait for the day they put like caviar on spam. I mean, that sounds delicious. That could be good. Might be too salty, but that could be good. <laughs> caviar on anything. Okay, we sound real bougie now. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Yes. Caviar <laughs> on this brunch talk actually is the perfect combination. That's how we're going to bring it back. It is. It is. <laughs> we're here to answer your burning dating questions because you don't know what to pair with your caviar and you don't want to be alone in this conundrum. But we have some burning, burning dating questions we got to get to. So there's a sense of urgency here. And the question we want to tackle for this episode is, how can I be taken more seriously? Hmm. Okay. And then for more info, I feel like I'm not taken seriously by the people I date. I keep hearing I'm not looking for a relationship with you. It's one thing if this was a one and done, but it feels like a pattern. I have a theory it's because I still live at home, but is there anything else that could be giving off this vibe? I still recall back to one of our earlier episodes with Josh Rasmussen, who's a startup founder who lived at his office, <laughs> had no real income, was not ready to date, but 
after his episode aired, all these women were like, I will date you. I will house you. I will feed you. You know, thinking back to that episode, to be taken seriously is not your state of being, is how you present yourself. It's the energy you give off. And I bring up Josh because he had this air of like purpose. Mm -hmm. He was living a purpose-driven life. He was doing something and building something. And people found that really admirable, even though he had no home. <laughs> and so I think in this scenario, at least you have a home. Yeah. But what is that story you want to tell? What is your purpose mm. that you are aligned with? And it's not you trying to be someone so you can be more taken seriously. Is Do you even take yourself seriously? Where is that disconnect? That's a good point. All of it always goes inward. And I love that you brought up Josh because probably something to note of this listener is a male also. And I think there is stigma mm. that comes with living at home and being a provider. Like, of course, you know, it's 2024. Women are independent too if you're a hetero dater. But I think some of that lives on subconsciously. And it's something that I've heard a lot of male friends and even past partners go to mm -hmm. as like the reason why things aren't working. So I think it's natural that you went there, whether it's this or not, we don't know. We're not the people you're dating. Mm -hmm. I think that being said, though, like you were saying, UA, what's the story? Yeah, Because there's a difference of like, I'm working to build X, Y, and Z, and this is temporary that I'm living at home versus like, hey, I might be living at home for the foreseeable future. Those give yeah. a very different vibe and energy of what you're willing to put out there. And then also, you know, are you coming off on dates? Like, are you kind of like assertive in the sense of like, you know what you want and you're going to go after it? Or are you a little more like timid and wishy-washy? Like I think people read that energy and it's inferred from there. Right. Can you make it so that people who are interested can really understand your situation mm -hmm. versus giving anybody space for interpretation and assumptions? And of course, they're going to assume the worst. Are you working towards something? Is there a reason for you to be at home? And do you have agency over your life yeah. still? I think that would be my question if I were dating you. Can you go out at night? Like, <laughs> Can you sleep over? Do you have a curfew? Are your parents in your hair all the time? Or are you at home taking care of aging parents, which is totally understandable? Right. Or are you building something and you really need to save some money in the interim? Those are such different energies mm -hmm. when you talk about those. And the way you can talk about it is not the selling the story or the PR headline, but it's how do you talk about it authentically so that you take yourself seriously in that story and then people can feel the authenticity from it. I think one of my favorite moments of Dateable, you were not with me for this UA, but we had huh? one of our past- How is that possible? I don't know. Maybe you you were either in LA at this point, or maybe you just didn't need to be here because it was already a lot of people going on. I'll tell you and okay. it'll come back to you. So this was when we had a sound guy that was working for us and he was really struggling with dating. Oh, so yeah. we set yes. him up with a dating coach that was in our network. And I went on this date. Probably didn't need like me, you, and the dating coach. Maybe that's why it was just me. I don't remember. Or you didn't live here. I totally remember this. Anyways, I went with him and the dating coach to a bar. And the dating coach, it was a guy, and this was a guy. And he was just like, what'd you do today? And he's like, I don't know, like, just like, I don't know, like got a massage, like did some things, like nothing interesting. And he was like, no, no, no. You need to be like, you got the best massage of my life today. Yes. Like think about how different it is when that's the energy you're putting out there, when you're like, oh, let me yeah. tell you about this thing that happened. Not just like, ooh, let me brush it under the rug. It wasn't a big deal. My life isn't interesting. Like you make things interesting mm -hmm. if you choose to make things interesting. And just watching this whole interaction of just like how he was like teaching him to take the exact same things that were happening in his life and like not do it in a fake way, but just be more excited about it and more like, yeah, this is my life that I'm living. Like, don't you want to be part of it? Instead of like, this is my life I'm living. It kind of sucks. And I'm looking for someone to save me. It's so true. Think about kids. They're so excited about the smallest things. My friend's kids who are four and five can't stop playing with cardboard boxes. They think it's the best thing in the world. And it's contagious because you forget these mundane things that we as adults kind of thought, all right, this is so boring, or I have nothing to talk about. My life is so bland, or 
I'm not interesting enough. All of this can be interesting if you see your life from a kid's fresh perspective. And if you are the one censoring yourself before you even open your mouth to tell your story, then you've already put yourself in the corner. You've already shut yourself up and said, I'm not important enough to express my opinion. And I think this goes for being taken more seriously, but being seen as more interesting, seen as more intelligent. Like it's pretty much everything that you can unravel in dating. I want to go in a little deeper of like specifics to be like taken more seriously. But before we do, let's take a minute to hear from our sponsors. Ah, I love my shower time. See, I'm an evening shower because I like to wash off the day before I hop into bed. And now with Osea's new Andaria Algae Body Wash, my shower routine has turned into a tropical paradise with its iconic all-natural uplifting citrusy scent. This body wash infuses your shower with the healing power of the sea, formulated with nourishing, nutrient-rich Andaria seaweed, glycerin, and an oil blend. Also, its pH balance, hydrating formula doesn't and strip skin, leaving it feeling soft and renewed. I'm personally a big fan of the gel-like texture. It just feels really nice in my hands and it's beautiful, rich lather. And the all-natural citrusy scent that smells so vibrant. You just feel like you just went, I don't know, surfing? Even I don't surf at all. It leaves my skin feeling so wonderful and can I just even say glamorous? Upgrade your shower with clean, vegan face and body care from Osea. Get 10% off your first order site-wide with code code dateable at oseamalibu.com. You'll get free samples with every order and free shipping on orders over $60. Head to oseamalibu.com and use the code D-A-T-E-A-B-L-E for 10% off. Do you ever feel like you want to enjoy the little things in life a little more? Really stop and savor the moment? Well, Via Gummies can really help with that slowing things down to be in the present. Trusted by over 250,000 customers, Vias hemp products are the Swiss army knife of wellness. Need to chill out after a long day? There's a Via gummy for that. Dealing with anxiety or stress? There's a gummy for that. Want to set the mood in the bedroom? Oh yeah, there's a gummy for that because Via has developed a unique blend of pleasure-enhancing, libido-strengthening herbs and a medium dose of THC all into one mind-blowing gummy called High Love. Their best-selling High Love gummy is my go-to because it awakens my senses and increases blood flow, making me feel so present in the moment. So if you're over 21, head to viahemp.com and use the code DATABLE to receive 15% off. That's V-I-I-A-H-E-M-P.com and use the code D-A-T-E-A-B-L-E at checkout. Please support our show and tell them we sent you. Take your passion and pleasure to a whole new level with high love from Via Hemp. We're officially entering fall, and I don't know about you, but this is by far my favorite season. Between pumpkin spice lattes and sweater weather, ah, it's the best. And Quince makes it easy to shift my wardrobe from summer to fall with high-quality items that don't blow my budget. I'm obsessed with the tan cashmere sweater I got from them. It's one of their signature items, and it's just so soft and luxurious. And $50! That's unheard of for cashmere, and the quality is to the same level of luxury brands that cost a heck lot more. All Quince items are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. And that's because Quince partners directly with top factories cutting out the cost to the middleman and passes the savings on to us. Make switching season a breeze with Quince's high quality closet essentials. Go to quince.com slash datable for free shipping on your order and 365 day returns. That's Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash datable to get free shipping and 365 five day returns quince.com slash dateable. Okay. So how to be taken more seriously? I think first of all, being really clear on your intentions and your follow-up that alone puts Mm. you in a league outside of so many daters today. Yes. So no matter what else external that you have going on, just like saying like, Hey, I like you and I want to see you again. How about next Tuesday or whatever? Yeah. That shows conviction. It shows action. 
I would see that person as a serious contender. Yes, making plans and being decisive and being confident in what you're looking for. Like, who cares you're living at home? Like, you're moving things along. That's great. That makes me feel like you can make decisions in our life together. But if you're kind of playing the cool person, wishy-washy, or even just like, anything goes, I'm super flexible. What do you want to do? Or I actually think I take them less seriously Mm -hmm. because I feel like they have nothing going on. Yeah. They're just like on your timeline. And then I just kind of think, okay, well, they're always going to be there. They're just like ambient. So then, yeah, I wouldn't think of them as the first person I want to hang out with. Right. And it's like, what do they want? Who even knows? Like, it's just going along with it. I also think I would encourage you to look at like your party habits. Like, I'm not saying that you should like stop Mm. partying, but I'm thinking of some of the people I don't take seriously. And, you know, some of them, uh, I would say like pretty much like all I know of them is in a party environment. And I even have seen some of them take dates to parties, like group outings. They don't carve out more of that one-on-one time. And again, I don't know if this person is doing this. I'm just saying like, take a look at the overall inventory of your life and see where there are some areas that maybe aren't as mature. And again, I don't want to say like stop partying or stop going to concerts or doing whatever, but how do you like pair that with something else that could be taken seriously? Like talking about the party you threw, but also the latest book you read. You know, it's about showing the overall picture of who you are. I think on dates, many times we only show the social media side. We want to be congruent with what we're trying to present out there that I think most people want to see what's the side of Mm -hmm. you that nobody else has seen. What's the side of you that's not totally obvious and apparent? And I feel special to see that side of you. On dates in such an intimate environment, that's the best way to divulge some of that information. Of course, it's not like talking about all your vulnerabilities and your childhood traumas, but it's like, okay, on social media, I may be seen as this social parting kind of person, but on a date, I want to show that I have this other side, this Mm -hmm. other side that not everybody gets to see and you're so special that you get to see it. I mean, looking back in my own dating life, I know there were years I was not taken seriously. Like I remember going out this date Mm. with this guy that was probably a couple years older than me and I could just feel the energy of him just being like, like I remember talking about how often I went out and, you know, just the vibe I was putting out on dates. Like I was drinking a lot because of like nervous energy, but also this mentality of like, it's a date. It should be fun. We're at a bar. Let's go. Yes. And I could tell that he ended things with me because he didn't take me seriously because I never gave Mm. off that. And the reality is, was maybe another thing to think about is I don't think at that point I was serious. I said I wanted all these things, but I don't actually think I was in the place to do it. So if this is feedback that you're getting, like maybe there is a side of looking inwards as well of what it is that's not serious. And why is that the case? Oh, that's so true. We may say we want one thing, but then totally come off in a totally different way. And it's good to see if you are consistent (laughs) with what you say that you want. And it's totally okay if you realize oh, I'm actually not looking for anything serious at all. I thought I was. Isn't that so liberating to arrive at that decision? (laughs) Like, actually, I don't want anything serious. Yeah, let's go. I just thought of a side note to that story is like years later, I ran into the same guy. I was like at Safeway's parking lot because it was like 4th of July Uh and we had gotten champagne and stuff for the park and then realized that you couldn't bring bottles into the park. So my friend and I were like literally chugging champagne in the the parking lot. I look up. And that guy is standing there. And I was like, he's probably like, yep, made the right call. He's like, nothing has changed. (laughs) He's like, nope, still not serious. You're like, no, no, no. But wait, let me show you the the serious side. Let me tell you what I'm like when I'm sober. (laughs) You only get a little time to make an impression is the reality. That's so true. In today's world, one date is all you really get. That brings up this other thought that we've been trying to champion for a long time, Mm -hmm. getting feedback. If you keep getting the same feedback and these women are no longer interested, I don't see any harm of being like, what is it about me that comes off not so serious? I'm just really curious to know because I'm trying my best. If you use the words, I am trying my best 
to find my partner, yeah. to find a serious relationship, and I keep getting the same consistent feedback, you would actually help me tremendously if you can give me some feedback. I would love to help that I person. I mean, that's your answer. I would love that. Yeah. I would love that. I'd be brutally honest, but at least this is a person showing they're committed to growth. Also plug for our other podcast, Exit Interview, where we do a whole series getting feedback. But sometimes what we think is the problem actually isn't the problem. So I know you're inferring yeah. that the reason people say that they don't want a relationship with you is because they don't take you seriously and possibly because you live at home. But do you know that? Right. You don't. That could be a story right. you're making up and telling yourself how much better would it be to figure out what it is. And I know you say like it's starting to be a pattern, but I think sometimes too, the reality is with dating, like 99% of the people aren't going to be matches for you. Yeah. And I don't know how many dates you're going on and how often this is happening, but it can feel like a pattern if it's a couple times and it might not actually be. Yeah. It could just be that this person and you didn't jive and were incompatible. So I really do like this idea of going to the source a little more. But also, even if you're not comfortable doing that, I think we gave some other ideas of just how do you tell your story? How do you mm -hmm. take action in other ways that makes it feel like people understand what you're all about and what you're trying to get out of the situation? Can you report back, though? We want to hear. We'd you love get some feedback. to report back. Actually, this person answered one of our polls on Instagram. Uh -huh. So they sent this there. And I was like, this would be a great brunch talk. And then he's like, yeah, I left a review, too. And I'm like, great. Even better. So oh. you get your brunch talks in that way. But I actually, the reason I'm saying this is I could follow up with him because I do remember who it was. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're going to follow up because we're going to get to the bottom of this. I am we're invested. emotionally invested. Yeah. <laughs> we're in now. <laughs> All right. Well, that wraps up this question. Of course, you can get your brunch talk questions in like Julie just told you many methods. You can <laughs> answer methods. one of our polls <laughs> on Instagram or just DM us on Instagram at Datable Podcast or you can email us hello at datablepodcast.com or you can leave us a rating and review and leave us five stars first. And in the body of your review, let us know what is this burning dating question you have and we'll bump you up to the front of the queue. And even better, if you've pre-ordered our book, How to Be Dateable, due to be out in January 2025, if you say that in your review, then we'll bump you to the top top. Yeah. The tippy tippy top. And all the people on YouTube can see it in our backgrounds. We have the copies. So exciting. And come to oh YouTube. Oh my gosh. Come to YouTube and watch these as you eat brunch yeah. or leave the question in the YouTube comments. There's so many ways to get oh, to us. So many ways. Yeah. <laughs> tattoo it on your forearm and take a picture of it and send it to I'm like, there's just so many ways. So many no ways. No need to permanently. Just, I mean, yeah, you would get bumped up to the front of the line. You'd be next if you tattooed a question on your arm. There are many ways to get to us. No tattoo necessary unless you want to on your own. Yeah, we're not going to force you. Gosh, it's all voluntary. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad we got to answer this one. Like you said, too, make sure to subscribe so you get our long form content every week as well. See you next week. Bye. Bye.